गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई विद सागर वेलकम यू ऑल इन द ई लर्निंग क्लास ऑफ मॉडर्न इंटरनेशनल स्कूल इज हुआ आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट सब्जेक्ट जोग्राफी ऑफ स्टैंड सेवन एंड दिस इज फर्स्ट वीडियो लेक्चर ऑन द टॉपिक एयर चैप्टर फोर डियर स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू नो दैट एयर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अस एंड वी कॉन्ट लीव एवन ए सिंगल मिनट विदाउट द एयर एंड एज वी नो that the air that existing in our surroundings that is only due to the atmospheric pressure or you can say that is only due to the atmosphere so what is atmosphere the layer of air which surrounded our earth is known as atmosphere the layer of air which surround uh, the atmosphere is called atmosphere our earth so all of the living beings on this earth depend on the atmosphere for their survival because each and every human being or the living beings they required the air through which they can breathe and they can survive so this is only possible due to the atmosphere as the atmosphere it it acts as the blanket around our earth like it also Uh, uh, help uh, protect us it also protect us from the harmful effect of the sun ray like you can see the ultra violet rays you can sort you can say the uv rays okay so these uh, ultra violet rays are very uh, harmful for our skins as well as these also affect the human lives but uh, due to this atmosphere due to the layer of atmosphere these are already you can say filter uh, these layers act as a filter and just protect us from these harmful rays as we can say that without this blanket of protection we could be bagged alive like the biscuit you can see it is bagged so we could also be bagged uh, by the heat of the sun so here we can say or um, we could also be frozen because both both can be happen due to the extreme heat or due to the extreme cold so these atmosphere just keep the um, you can say in maintenance so now we will come to know about the composition of atmosphere so the atmosphere is formed by the mix up of different gases wherever the main composition of uh, within that gases is of nitrogen which is of 78% and uh, oxygen that is of 21% so it become 99 and other, other gases is about 1% wherever it is cl also classified like 0.03 is carbon dioxide argon 0.93 and all others 0.04 so these are the combination of gases you can say where we used to breathe in and nitrogen and oxygen which are the two gases which are the main components of the atmosphere wherever other gases like carbon dioxide helium ozone argon and hydrogen are found in less quantities so apart from th these gases the tiny particles are also there you can say the dust is also present in air as the nitrogen is the most plentiful gas in the air when we inhale we take some amount of nitrogen into our lungs and exhale it but plants need uh, nitrogen for their survival it means they cannot take the nitrogen directly from air it means the nitrogen which is in maximum amount but we are not going to take the nitrogen directly as we are taking the oxygen directly and we exhale the carbon dioxide okay so the um, uh, within the atmosphere the bacteria is uh, uh, also lives uh, in the atmosphere the bacteria is also there in the roots of some of the plants which also take nitrogen h 
दीज बैक्टीरिया दीज सॉइल्स दिस कंटेंट्स द मॉइस्चर एंड दीज सो दैट बैक्टीरिया टेक्स द नाइट्रोजन एंड चेंज इज फॉर्म सो दैट द प्लांट्स कैन यूज इट नाउ वी विल नो अबाउट द ऑक्सीजन सो फर्स्ट इज अबाउट द नाइट्रोजन एंड सेकेंड अबाउट द ऑक्सीजन डियर स्टूडेंट ऑक्सीजन यू कैन से इट इज द लाइफ गैस यू कैन से इट इज द लाइफ गिविंग गैस टू अस बिकॉज इफ ऑक्सीजन इज नॉट अवेलेबल देन वी कुड डाई सो ऑक्सीजन इज वेरी वाइटल गैस फॉर अस सो एज वी नो दैट वी यूज टू इनहेल द ऑक्सीजन एंड दीज आर बीन एग्जेल्ड या दीज आर बीन रिलीज बाय द ग्रीन प्लांट्स दे प्रोड्यूस द ऑक्सीजन एंड वी रिलीज द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड दिस इज टेकन बाय द प्लांट्स सो देयर इज द एक्सचेंज यू कैन से देयर इज द एक्सचेंज ऑफ दिस गैस गैसेज वाइस वर्सा इट मीन्स देर इज एक्सचेंजेस ऑफ दिस गैसेज वॉट वी रिलीज इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर सम वन एंड वॉट वी टेक इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू अस सो इन दिस वे द एक्सचेंज ऑफ गैसेज इज देयर एंड इट रिमेन्स इक्वल ऑन द अर्थ दिस इज द बैलेंस सी हाउ द नेचर दैट हैज बीन मेड आउट विद दिस बैलेंस सो द ग्रीन प्लांट्स इट ऑल्सो यूज द ऑक्सीजन फॉर मे फॉर द फोटोसिंथेसिस एंड एज यू नो द प्रोसेस ऑफ मेकिंग फूड by the plants with the help of sunlight air and water that is known as photosynthesis in hindi ise kehte hain prakash sanshleshan now next is about carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide that is also the third other important gas which we used to release and green plants use the carbon dioxide to make their food and also release oxygen as i told you now <clears throat> as the amount of carbon dioxide released by human and animals seems to be equal to the amount used by plant which make a perfect balance as i have told you that to, uh, those gases which have been released by human and those gases which have been uh, released by the trees and plants these uh, just keep a balance between the atmosphere and by these uh you can say that within this uh, with the, with with this balance the uh, there is the uh, balance which formed in this atmosphere within atmosphere otherwise it could happen that one ga one gas is vanished and one gas is accessible here but see the natures it has been kept the balance between human and plants as well as the animals so these are just like within the circulated chain now the balance is also upset by burning of fuel it means it also harm it also harms uh, with the uh, burning of the fuel such as coal and oils as the billions of tons of carbon dioxide in the uh, into the atmosphere each year as a result the increased volume of carbon dioxide affecting the earth's weather and climates as we know that if any of the gases will exceed then it will just harmful full for us as in the next topic we will come to know that how the different things the how the different electronic things like the fridge and acs and cooler uh, sorry cooler not uh, the freeze and ac Uh, you, we are using and th uh, these are uh, releasing the cfc gases and how the cfc chlorofluorocarbon gases just uh, harmful to the ozone layers those ozone layers which are protecting us from the harmful rays so these are the things because as the science is developing the technologies the different uh, aspects you can say the different uh, things are also developing by which a human can get the more and more uh, reliable life but as you know that the nature that has been provided to us this is only for our use if we are going to exploit it the nature is not going to consider it 
ओके डियर स्टूडेंट्स रीड द पैराग्राफ एंड कीप वॉचिंग थैंक यू